a strange, curious kind of game. This thing was, uh, it was three, it was a six point game, and I believe the, the, the passing yards was 326 to 75 at some point. Yeah. If you thought those passing yards would be true with about three quarters done, and this game would be 27 21, you wouldn't have believed it. No, what should have been, I think, an easy win and was heading that way changed dramatically when Saquon Barkley got hurt. Then Akia Lynch got hurt. And, you know, that they, they're just not the same offense without those two. Changed everything. They had to throw the ball. They did throw the ball. But, yeah, it was 27-21, you know, and it, it was a game. It looked like very much a game, an upset possibility. It and had then, that uneasy feeling about it, yeah. Nassib and Austin Johnson, who everyone thought was going to return a fumble <laughs> 71 yards for a touchdown. Did that, and that was really kind of what Penn State needed. Uh, and it's, it's, they're fortunate they're playing Army next week because James Franklin wouldn't tell us. But I don't know. They could be without both those, those runners for a little bit of time, and they're, they're, they just certainly, don't have, have anyone to run Certainly it looks like Akeel Lynch with a knee injury that looked pretty serious. Uh, left, left knee. And then Saquon Barkley with what looked like a heel or ankle injury yep. when he got rolled up on near the sideline. He, he tried, looked like he, tried, he wanted to he try to come back hard. in, but they weren't going to let him back in. Tim Bream would have shot him before he let him back in the game. <laughs> and Mark Allen finished out a lot of the game with Nick Scott in relief, and that's pretty much what they got at running back, which yeah. is what I'm going to write about. I mean, it's a, it's kind of a Levy and Mass situation at running back now, and they've got nothing but rookies. Did you just say a Levy and Mass situation? That's what I said. I, love I said it. it. I, love I said it. it. I love it. I said it. And they, they've got nothing but rookies yeah. back there if Lynch doesn't come back. It's not great. It's not great. I also thought that Anthony Zadol today, playing after just right out soon after his dad passed, and not only playing, playing very well. His teammates, you could tell how much they really care about Zadol and his family. They spoke very, very warmly and fondly of of not only him but his family. And I think, uh, you know, the fact that Zettel a was able to play and b played like he did he played really says well. all you need to know yeah. about that that guy. He's not and a kid anymore. He's a man, and I think that there's a lot of respect and love for that guy and it showed today. I'm not going to go into the whole gives us more perspective stuff because I hate that, but I mean it does put a certain pall over a game and a certain uh, certain certain demeanor for everybody. It's hard for everyone I think to, to get around playing a football game when that happens and yeah. you could tell. I mean yeah. it, was, it, was, it was palpable. Yeah, it wasn't even sudden. I think James Franklin did say it's gone on for about three weeks yeah. where just there was nothing that could be done and you know Zetta would go home when he could but I mean you know, he just, you know, he, it looked like he wasn't himself a little bit last week. Today, though, different, different Zettel, and he played, played great. So, so they got through it, but some serious injuries. And what, really, what you want to do in these games, they're, they're like preseason NFL games, is just get through them with that injury, and that ain't happening. And uh, they got some problems maybe at running back depth. Now, the West Point Cadets come in here next week. Yeah. And that'll be the last non-conference game before Indiana who comes in the following week. I'm still I'm still digesting Levy and Mass, so I'm a little speechless right now. Oh, you do that. I know. And, and I'm no deep thinker, we'll, man. We'll get out of here. That's it from Beaver Stadium. Adios.